About one in six men develop prostate cancer at some point in their lives. Now, University of Missouri researchers have discovered that resveratrol, a chemical commonly found in grape skins and red wine, can help treat prostate cancer tumors more effectively. The cells we're studying are very hardy and in fact are normally radiation resistant, but the resveratrol increases the ability of the radiation to kill these cells. Nickel found that introducing resveratrol to the site of a prostate tumor makes radiation treatments much more potent by increasing the rate of cancer cell death. Resveratrol alone has an effect on prostate cancer uh, in that it slows the growth of the tumor and it also increases the rate at which the tumor cells die. When we combine it with radiation, we found that the growth slows considerably more and the rate of death increases uh, much more than if you had just used radiation or um, resveratrol alone. Nickel believes that the resveratrol treatment could have a promising future for fighting cancer. Well, prostate cancer is the most common cancer in men, and so there are a lot of people's lives who we could potentially affect and, and improve. And we think that our results are going to be translatable into other tumors. Uh, we have some preliminary data that suggests it may be as effective in melanoma and, and in pancreas cancer, which are other tumors we study in the lab. Resveratrol can be found in grape skins, red wine, and in pill form over the counter at many pharmacies. However, the dosage needed to have an effect on tumor cells is so large that many people would suffer uncomfortable side effects. The early stage results of this research are promising. If additional studies are successful in the next few years, IMU officials will request authority from the federal government to begin human drug development. Researchers may then begin human clinical trials with the hope of developing new treatments for cancer. For the IMU News Bureau, I'm Nathan Hurst.